Hello and thank you so much for stopping by. Welcome to Karavali Days. Today I'm going to share with you the recipe of Raskulla and these are the ingredients required. First, let's start boiling the milk. I have taken half a liter of milk. You can increase and decrease uh, the quantity as per your wish. The best part about this recipe is you don't have to be precise because everything that we use is So next up, I have vinegar here. This is diluted one. If you could get the undiluted one, that would be great. So as it heats up, start adding vinegar one cup after the other, approximately one tablespoon that I'm talking about. Stir it, reduce the flame, then check if it's curdled. And then add a couple of more drops. So continue doing it. So once you drop in one tablespoon of vinegar, you might want to let it cook for like a minute or two probably a little more sometimes it takes some time for it to curdle here i've roughly used eight tablespoons after which it started curdling i let it cool and then added one cup of vinegar again and then cooked it that actually helped me to make sure the milk gets properly curdled. So I separate, look at that, soft. I would separate the whey from the milk solid. So you have to make sure you squeeze out all the excess water. It has to be moist, but not literally dry, but not wet either. And knead it really, really well until it doesn't crumble, it all sticks together, more like uh, as you need the chapati dough, the same way. I just wasn't satisfied because I didn't want it to crumble later. So try making a tiny ball and see if there is any cracks. So if there is cracks, then ideally means you would have to knead it again. Mine did not have cracks, so it was easy for me to know that I've needed it correctly. Right? Simultaneously, what I would want you to do is start preparing the sugar syrup. If you want to do it way in advance, it's absolutely fine. You just have to keep cooking. It, it would take some time. So add some cardamom for flavor and taste sugar, water and cardamom and bring it to boil. Once you see it's properly dissolved, all the sugar content is dissolved and it's boiling, drop in the rasgulla. Make sure there is no crack in the rasgulla because if that is, then it would split when it comes in contact with the boiling sugar syrup. Always ensure you take a container slightly, probably 50% larger than the amount of rasgullas in there so because this fluffs up and like you see it's beautifully fat so that's it let it cool and stir it in a plastic or a jar container and refrigerate love is all we need do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you